see, being in the uh, top positions of the company and knowing people around you always puts you in a position where you get hounded by requests for support on resumes. Sir, I the profile on the right. It's over well part. Yes, on the card, yeah, under the card, yeah, fresher, it's over well. Sir, you have to value it, you have to value it. AI is a value of it. You have to value it, you have to value it. I think all of these are excuses, right? The typical happening, you know, what brought Nokia down? Same thing happens to most of us in corporate world. We don't keep ourselves upskilled all the time. Once you study, you think books are no more, right? Once you get into the corporate field, you stop studying. When do we ever stop learning? We should not, right? Every day should be a new day of learning. When I was doing my 12th grade, believe me, there was a, a programming language called BASIC. Do you guys know that? Yes. Can you do anything with that right now? Okay. We have come leaps and bounds from there. BASIC. Fortran and then came Cobalt and C++ C++ and C++ whatever. Now we are in Gen AI 360. And then we complain AI is taking away our jobs. Everybody can be replaced. Even HR. HR function can be replaced. There is an AI tool which can do interviews. While doing the interview, the tool can sense what mode the candidate is in will he fit the role what his future in the company will be will he evolve as an employee will he evolve as a leader will he add value to this organization tools can do all of that that means people who are doing HR specialization will not have a job tomorrow right so what do you have to do you have to be a step ahead. You need to be the person who is teaching that tool what to ask. You need to be the person who writes codes for that tool. You need to be the person who advises the tool that things can change and these are the scenarios and this is where human intervention is required. Otherwise all of us will become obsolete, right? Today, I work one day from the office, the rest of the four days I work from anywhere. You know, that means, even that one day I am not required in the office. I can work anywhere and still keep doing what I am doing. Tomorrow, I can be replaced just like that. Because they don't feel my presence in the office. Right? Somebody can do the same work that I've been doing, starting tomorrow, how do I keep abreast of the crowd, of the competition, and make sure that I keep adding value? That is what matters in today's corporate world. See, I heard somebody say that they are from a poor family or a middle class background. Forget that, that's not your fault. Being born poor is not your fault. Dying poor is your fault. What you make of your life between your birth and death is your responsibility. Right? So when you come to corporate life, it is like that. Nobody is going to spoon feed you. Nobody is going to tell you, do this, do that. Here is the opportunity. Apply for this job. Apply for this IJP. Nobody is going to tell you. You are going to do it on your own. You guys are already in the second year. Next year you are going to be in terms already. Right? You will get a feel of how a corporate world is. Once you step into it, that's going to be a lot of politics. There's going to be a lot of competition. Competition where even your close friend will work against you and pull you down. Right? What will you trust when you are in the corporate world? 
yourself. Yourself. And I used to talk about authentic leadership all the way. Right? Some of you came on stage. Oh, you, you guys not in the scene? Yeah. Sorry. Um, some people came on stage, delivered a prepared speech. Good. At least you are prepared. Some of you came on stage and tried hard just to stand on the stage. Great. That's a great achievement because facing people is the most. So you have to make every uh, use of every opportunity to be a better person of yourself each and every day. It doesn't stop today. Okay, I finished standing up on this stage, I achieved something, now I can go home and rest peacefully. Your life is dead already. It cannot be like that. Right? Or, uh, Tabi, you are from which place? Where are you from? Hello, Kanya Bumri. Can you... <laughs> Somebody has to request you two to three times to tell me where you are from. Do you think in corporate life you will have so many chances? You? Yes or no? No. So, okay, at least now you know that there is an opportunity for you to improve, right? Good. Downey in the corporate world is going to tell you that these are your areas of improvement. Do well. Of course, there is no fatal thing. Of course, there is a bell curve. Have you guys heard of a bell curve? No? Okay. You you got to know of it once you start your internship. No matter how good you are, if you're not the best will not get a promotion or a proper interview. Okay, they fit you to the best. You have to be the best. Okay? For which ASBM is providing you this platform. Make use of it. Every day learn from it. And be an authentic leader. Don't take quotes from somewhere. I have uh, spoken to you a lot of times. I have never used quotes if you had uh, you know, carefully observed. Your life should be an inspiration to others. Your life should be an inspiration to yourself. Because you are the only one who can motivate yourself. Everybody else, if they do, may be false. If they do, maybe they are your teachers and well-wishers not your co-workers, never. Okay? It's all false. The only person who can motivate you once you go on to your corporate life is yourself. For which you have to have self-realization. So I also mentioned when one of you were talking that you have accepted that these are your faults. Now you can improve. Once you know that you have to improve on this aspect of your character, I'm sure you will win, right? So, these are opportunities given to you to make use of in your future life. I want to see more involvement from you in terms of when you come up on stage the next time. I want you to be more free. Express yourself more, right? I was just talking to sir and we were discussing communication skills. It does not always have, have to be in English, right? Sometimes you will be in your corner of the world, for you as well, you know. Kanyakumari, if you want to start a company in Kanyakumari, if you go and give them a talk in English, how will they react? Right? Yeah. So you should be able to communicate what you are thinking in a clear manner that people who are listening to you understand and act in a manner that you want them to. Okay? So, communication skill is not about writing a few lines, mugging that up and coming and presenting on stage. 
right? Um, one girl started with a girl story, and then I heard three, four people saying the same thing. Of course, you might have a study group where you decided that this is going to be a script, and you prepared a script likewise. But be unique, right? Uh, unfortunately, the second girl had to come after the first girl, and then it was a repeat for me. I don't know how you guys planned it up, but I could only hear the same story being repeated. There was a girl here and she thought this, that, that. And of course, a girl can now become a king. Who was that? Queen. Be a queen. Right? You don't want to be a queen? People usually uh, thought, when I said queen, usually thought uh, queen is well dressed. You want to hope that is why you want to be a king. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. See, there is the inferiority complex hidden right there. No. If I said a king, I know. If I want to be a queen, I know. But uh, I want to realize to to other people. Mm. I want to give a clear. What do I desire? Uh, she wants to be number one, not number two. She thinks queen is number two. Sir. People usually thought queen means. If Nirmala Sitaraman thought that, <laughs> would she have been finance minister for us? If Jayalalitha had thought that, would she have been the best CM you know, Tamil Nadu had ever seen? Of course, during part of her life. If Indra Gandhi had thought about that, if Sunita Williams had thought about that, I can keep naming people. Right? The reason we have less number of women leaders today is because of this. And I want more women leaders. Um, your previous batches know they have interacted. My HR team has two women. Less are all men. My management team, the people reporting into me, I have two women, the rest 16 are all men. Why? Sit so, down. So this is not, I just took you as an example, okay? Not uh, fault finding with you at all, sorry. So, if you want to do things together, women need to come together. Right? And don't think of yourself as second to anybody. You are second to none. You can do things even better than men can. If I, if I had thought about what you had, you guys know I have two daughters. Okay? They are horse riders. They are trekkers, hikers, high rope climbers, black belts in karate. They can swim, they can dance, they can fight. Right? We should be able to do anything and everything men can do. That is management. Right? Nobody is born with a silver spoon. Right? But we have to create our own silver spoon. Because you guys came up and told something of your life. You shared it with all of us. I'm also going to share it with you. I come from a family where my father was not with us till we got to a certain age where we were fending for ourselves. Our mother, oh, we were three boys, I'm the eldest. Our mother was a teacher and when I was born in 75 she didn't even have a job. I joined school late by one year because she didn't know what to do. Um, and then my uncle came in. He gave her the money to put me into LKG and then got her a job as a teacher. During that time, 1980, 81, 82, that time, salary of a government teacher would be 150 rupees. Okay? 
and by the time I came to fifth standard, my third brother also joined the same school. Alright, we were three brothers, or the third brother also joined the same school. 150 rupees was the total fees for that school. How much was my mother's salary? 150. Maybe it went to 180. Because at that time, one sovereign of gold was of 180 rupees or something. Did I not study? I did. I was the best outgoing student in my fifth standard. <coughs> did I not go up to higher secondary? I did. I was a school pupil leader in my twelfth standard. Did I not use any co curricular activities? I did. Uh, I was the first student in my school to represent my school at New Delhi during the Republic Day Parade. And our school was more than 150 years old. How is this possible? Determination. And when you guys say that you're coming from a middle class family and coming from down south, well, all that is past. What are you doing right now? There is an opportunity given to you. Make the best use of it. Right? You have 24 hours in your uh, day at the uh, hostel or college. How many minutes are you spending on your self development? Study says that if you practice something that you want to excel in for 18 minutes a day, every day, every year, you will be the expert in it. So what you guys will practice around? What will you use that 18 minutes for if I ask you? You sir. What will you spend 18 minutes of your day on? How will you do that? Sir, I'll read books. Okay. I'll communicate uh, with myself in here. Yeah. And I'll practice some more communication. Great. Madam, um, you have it. Build a confidence. Confidence in working. How will you do that? Sir, I'll read a novel regarding confidence. And I'll read, put myself in this comfort zone. Okay. Great. Or better still, you go out. Meet everybody and you know create a study group. Create a study group. You stand in front of them, talk to them, explain things. I am saying 18 minutes a day. <laughs> okay? In 24 hours. Yeah, in 24 hours. It's just 18 minutes, can't you do it? I spent it on learning English time. That's it. English. I am from Kunur. Luckily, I had some uh, Anglo Indians as friends. I spent my 18 minutes a day learning English. Okay? To high school, when I was in 6th standard, you can imagine how old I was. I used to walk 4 kilometers up the hill, down the hill, across the stream, up the hill again. And Kunur, you know how climate is, right? It's rainy, it's windy, it's sunny, it's cold. You still have to forget everything because I can't spend anything on uh, boarding a bus, right? So I have to walk to school each and every day for six years, four kilometers up, four kilometers down, not a waste of my time. Make use of everything that was thrown at you. The school had good teachers, learn from them, observe what they are doing, learn from your books, try out everything, try out every skill, because that's the time to learn, those are your formative years. I'm sure you've done all that. And today, I came here in Audi car. My favorite uh, phrase, Adi Rasanjit, Kartil Marat. And come here and talk about it. That's the best part. 
how many people have the uh, you know opportunity to come and give it back to the society, right? That's the best part. Because once you achieve, people will not look at all the hardships that you guys have done. Right? And people like you will think that, okay, and the level one normally will not be able to do it. We will not be able to do it. We will not be able to do it. I used to have that feel. Because I am from Punu, we are not exposed to a lot of things. We didn't know that the world was so open and you know, we had so many opportunities. Twelfth, uh, I, I will be shameless in telling you that I was not good in math. Okay. Because I spent all my formative years in NCC, going to camps, you know, out there on the field, practicing. In, in fact, I, I hit 35 bullseyes on one day, okay, with firing. So that was my kind of passion and I lost my touch with math. And I told my mom, I am not able to cope with math. So 11th grade, please don't put me in uh, you know, maths group. I will take English and computer science at that time, 91. Mom said, sorry, that's going to be expensive. You do good with what you have. So math, somebody helped me pass my exams. I will not tell you how. Today, I employ a CFO who reports into me on the numbers, right? And side by side, of course you guys know I am from Harvard, right? There was a homework given by my Harvard professor on uh, accounting. He said, this is the balance sheet exercise. You sit with your CFO, finish it and come. I was able to score 85. Five marks better than my CF. How is that possible? Just the passion. Just the determination that you guys want to do it. Okay? So, today I do a lot of things. I am a biker. I roam around on my bike. Bike riding has taught me so many things that school has not taught me. There are so many fools out on the road. You have to navigate through them to reach your destination. Likewise in life. Likewise in corporate life. There are so many challenges that get thrown into you. You have to be um, savvy enough to navigate through that traffic and reach your destination. There will always be speed brakes. Slow down, concentrate, pass it, keep going. There will always be signals to stop you. There will always be yellow lights to warn you as well. But the green light is for you to keep going. Because all of these things that you learned today and through the course of your three years at Aditya and are only going to give you enough for you to take this first step outside. After that it's yours. It's on your own. Okay? You have to make sure that you make every day a learning. Keep updating your skills. I finished my BA in English Literature in 1996, MA in Personal Management in 1999, after one year gap in between. My MBA, you know, when I did? 2016. That's when I finished my MBA. My Harvard was in 2019-20. There's no end to learning. You can keep learning throughout your life. In fact, every day is a day of learning for you guys. If you stop learning, you're dying that day. Many people will come and tell you, okay, AI has taken up the jobs. Tools have taken up jobs. Robos have come in and taken up jobs. Sales happens on SEO and SEM, we have nothing to do. Marketing is taken over by spiders. You know what spiders are? Spiders are those things on the web that go capture information on websites, collate them. And now, 
even the marketing is automated using the information they get. So what's the use of an MBA in marketing? Right? All this will come up. But where you guys make a difference, you know, that, that, that is important. And that is why you are in this school. For me, um, MBA has made a, such a difference in my outlook towards management itself. Because whatever I was considering employee friendly, the best way to approach employee management, the best way to approach retention, recruitment, all of those things. Because this is a company that I grew from 2010 when it was 175 employees to where it was 1,300 and then got acquired by another company with 17,000 employees. So, I have seen the full circle. And an MBA stamp gave me that authenticity saying whatever you were doing was the right thing. Okay, now you have it beforehand, before you guys hit the road. So you should be doubly happy that you have something already within you. A stamp of authenticity saying you are an MBA graduate, you know what you are doing. Those days we didn't have so many opportunities. Okay. The English plus computer science I was talking about, that group was in money school in Guamato, not anywhere in the Niagaris, the district of Niagaris. And the only school in the Coimbatore district was Manis. Today you can pick and choose whatever you want to study. You can do dual graduation right now, I heard. You can 